cost of it. There was also some discussion of ways to more closely tie the proposed ARC station below 34th Street to the existing Penn Station, which has been one of the problems with the project from the beginning, as well as the using the new station to have some increased regional and national benefits that would in turn attract additional funds for the project in the future as a way, once again, to try to take some of the burden off of the taxpayers of New Jersey and place it elsewhere. Even if that aspect of the project was successfully implemented, it would not provide a means for covering current cost overruns, nor the contingencies necessary to conclude a funding agreement with the FTA. And I'll get back to that in a second. Simply put, it wouldn't hold taxpayers harmless in New Jersey for cost increases and cost overruns that have already emerged and could continue to be even greater as the project moved forward over the next eight years. So on Sunday, uh, I met uh, with Secretary LaHood and Deputy Secretary Porcari uh, to discuss those options. Those were the four options uh, that they laid out for me. Um, and we discussed what else the federal government might be willing to do. One of their proposals was to increase federal funding, Port Authority funding, and New Jersey funding by $378 million each to get to cover the overage now on the low end estimate. That would exclude the Portal Bridge South and any contingency for the approximately 90% likelihood that it would cost more than that. So I want to be clear, the money that was brought to the table on Sunday when we met was $378 million additional dollars in federal funding. The rest was had to be absorbed by the state of New Jersey and the Port Authority, and that would only bring us to the 9.77 number, which had a 90% likelihood of being higher than 9.77 million. If that 90% likelihood came in, the taxpayers of the state of New Jersey are on the hook for every dollar over the 9.77 billion. A federal uh, railroad loan ranging from a low of 775 million to cover the cost of construction of the Portal Bridge to 2.3 billion to cover the increased state share of the difference between the $8.7 billion budget and the FTA low end estimate of 9.8 billion could have been secured by us. But again, that's just borrowing money from one place that we're eventually going to have to pay back as the people of New Jersey have to pay it back. A public-private partnership contribution of $1.85 billion, representing the difference between the $8.7 billion and, again, the low-range estimate of the $9.77 plus the Portal Bridge South. But again, the citizens, the taxpayers, the riders would have to come up with a way to pay this private entity through additional fees and costs to be able to make that a viable alternative. Lastly, there were suggestions of near-term scope reductions of the project of about $700 million. Even that, as I mentioned earlier, would make the tunnel less beneficial to the folks who are gonna use it. And in the scope of a two to $5 billion projected overrun now, is only taking $700 million off of the table by reducing the scope of the project and reducing the effectiveness <coughs> and efficiency of the project. So I wanna first start off by saying that I really appreciate the efforts of Secretary LaHood and Deputy Secretary Picari. Um, they are real professionals. I have great admiration for both of them. They conducted themselves in a completely professional, apolitical way throughout this entire process, despite um, the politics that others were injecting into this process all during the time period that we were working together. Um, they were complete professionals, and I think they came forward with the best faith offer that they were authorized to come forward with. In the end, decision-making on this kind of thing rests with others above their pay grade or in a different branch of government. And so, uh, I want to thank Secretary LaHood and the Deputy Secretary um, for their efforts, for personally meeting with me on Sunday uh, to review all of these options. A uh, great deal of time was put in by their staff and by our staff to prepare for that meeting, and it was a very frank and, uh, and direct meeting. Um, 
and I appreciate that. And I think the Secretary, I did not know him well before this interaction. I'd only met him once at the National Governors Association in Washington back in February. But I come away from this an enormous fan of Ray LaHood. He is an experienced public servant and somebody who um, I believe had the best interest of trying to move this project forward at heart, but never once made it a political issue. He understood that for me, it is a dollars and cents issue, and he dealt with me that way, very forthrightly and an upfront manner. Um, in the end, uh, my decision has not changed. Uh, I cannot place upon the citizens of the state of New Jersey an open-ended letter of credit. And that's what this project represents. Because to sign the full funding agreement, and this is what I wanted to follow up with you on from my earlier comment, the full funding agreement requires two things. That the state of New Jersey shows the source of the revenue for any projected cost overruns. And as governor, on behalf of the state, to accept full responsibility for the payment of anything above the $3 billion federal New Starts grant. Nothing in the last two weeks has changed that. And so, in the end, what the proponents of this plan are asking me to do, on behalf of the citizens of the state, is to hand them over a blank check. I simply will not do that to the people of the state of New Jersey. This is how we got ourselves into the third highest debt load in America. This is how we got ourselves into the awful fiscal mess that we're in. And often during the campaign, I would say that if I were elected, I would make the hard decisions that were necessary in order to restore our state to fiscal health. And there were many um, in the press and in the public who said, well, what are those hard decisions? Can you be specific? You can't. Because as governor, you don't know what's going to come across your desk. And all during the campaign, I relied upon the Corzine administration's representations about this project. And I supported it. But when you become governor and you start to be presented with the information I was presented with, you're presented with now a choice of a project that I do think is a worthwhile project, but that we simply cannot afford. And so, if you want one of the examples of what I meant back in the campaign about a hard decision to eliminate a project that has some worth to it, but that because of the fiscal conduct of Republicans and Democrats who came before me, that we now simply no longer can afford, here's an example. And so I do this with no sense of happiness at all. But I do this with an absolute sense of resolve and commitment to the promises that I made to the people of the state and what I believe is responsible conduct for the chief executive of this state. And so, we move on from here. I have instructed Mr. Weinstein to continue the orderly wind down and closing of this project. Um, this decision is final. Uh, there is no opportunity for reconsideration of this decision on my part. I am done. We are moving on. The last two and a half weeks were meant to give thoughtful consideration to options that were available. That's why when all of you were clamoring and following me around asking for a decision on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, you know, I got this information on Friday. I wanted to meet with the secretary personally to make sure I understood all of it and that I had every bit of information I needed to be able to make this decision. And then after meeting with him on Sunday, <coughs> I told my staff that I wanted another 48 hours to think about all of it myself before I made a final decision. And so when I said to all of you, um, currently in the last couple of days, I'll make this decision when I'm ready to make the decision, I said that to you in particular, um, you know, I was telling you exactly how I felt. I didn't want to announce this decision until I was ready to make the decision. I made the decision last night, and we're announcing it this morning. Um, 
I want to thank uh, Jim Weinstein and Bill Baroni and Wayne Hasenbell for all the time and the hard work that they put into this. And again, want to reiterate my thanks to Secretary LaHood and Deputy Secretary Picari. They are uh, complete professionals, and I appreciate their <coughs> input uh, to this. I know they wish the project was going forward, uh, but I also know that they understand that my responsibility is different than theirs, uh, and that I'm executing my responsibility in the way that I believe is best for the people of the state of New Jersey and our long-term fiscal health. Questions?